Hello, my name is Ray Franklin. I'm the Senior Commodity Analyst for Energy Professionals. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing and explaining why last week's PJM capacity auction will increase the cost of electricity, not only within the PJM footprint, but portends increases in other regional transmission organizations. They're called RTOs as well. I focus on natural gas in my videos because it is the largest source of power for the generation of electricity. Therefore, their pricing is highly correlated. Our July 29th energy update said the risk of our entering a second natural gas cyclical bull market within an ongoing secular bull market was increasing. Therefore, we recommended securing long-term electricity and gas agreements when your present agreements expire. In this chart, you can see the first secular natural gas market was a bull market from 1999 to 2009, which included four cyclical bull markets shown in the first green square box. During those 10 years, natural gas couldn't respond quickly to increased demand caused by hot summers or cold winters, or during the summer storm season when hurricanes often disrupt production, resulting in lower supplies. This was the major influence leading to a secular bull market characterized by high volatility. This period was followed by, a, by the second secular natural gas market, a bear market from 2010 to 2020, shown in the second red rect rectangle, which included three cyclical bear markets. Fracking was introduced during this period, enabling the production of natural gas to be more efficient which resulted in America being blessed with sufficient supplies to meet our energy needs over the next 10 years. This led to a secular bear market characterized by lower volatility. And if you look at the chart, you can see another rectangle that shows that we could be in the early stage of a secular bull market. And a secular bull market, as we saw in the past, could last five to 10 years, leading to pricing being higher during that period with extremely high volatility. But in today's report, I will explain why last week's PGM capacity auction will increase the cost of electricity not only within the PGM footprint, but portends increases in other regional transmission organizations, RTOs, as well. The PGM is the largest RTO in America, serving all or parts of Delaware, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Maryland, Michigan, New Jersey, North Carolina, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, Virginia, West Virginia, and the District of Columbia. On July 30th, the PGM announced the results of their 2025-2026 base residual auction, which revealed the cost of capacity will increase in most zones from $28.92 to $269.92 per megawatt day, and increase the cost of electricity more than two cents per kilowatt hour starting in July 2025 in most zones. The PGM warned in their report, and I quote, the significantly higher prices in this auction confirmed our concerns that the supply demand balance is tightening across the RTO, which they warned was forthcoming in their February 24, 2023 report. In that report, they said the amount of generation retirements appears to be more certain than the timely arrival of replacement generation resources and demand response. Given that, that the quantity of retirements is codified in various policy objectives, while the impacts to the pace of new entry of, infl of the Inflation Reduction Act, post-pandemic supply chain issues, and other externalities are still not fully understood, close quote. The bottom line is we believe the concerns expressed by the PGM reports won't be confined to the PGM RTO. They are endemic throughout America's RTOs. And as a consumer of electricity, there is little you can do about the capacity increases embedded in your cost of electricity. But as a consumer of electricity in a deregulated state, you can mitigate the effects of the increases by, as you can see in this chart, reserving electricity while natural gas, which is the largest source of power for the generation of electricity, is near its lowest price since 2000. And when natural gas declined to where it is today, it always preceded higher prices long term. And in our July 29th energy update, I ex fully explained that we may be in the early stages of a secular bull market, which could last for many years. 
In that report, I said natural gas is by far the largest source of power for the generation of electricity in America and will remain so for at least the next five to ten years. And this is why it's so important right now to lock in rates as low as possible while rates and capacity are going up. Capacity is the lo second largest component of the cost of electricity, but you can keep your cost as low as possible by reserving long-term electricity agreements while the largest component is near its lowest price since 2000. Now we realize our clients' risk tolerance and hedging strategies are not all the same, but hopefully today's report will help put into perspective your risk-reward opportunities, and we invite you to call one of our energy analysts to help you plan a hedging strategy that would be appropriate for your situation. And until my next report, please take care. Thank you.